Hello everyone, Kirith here. And yes, Gran Turismo 7 Sport Mode has been revealed. It's not officially out yet, but we've got the screenshots. They're in our Discord. If you want to see them, link in the description below. But there's going to be a massive, massive, massive difference to Sport Mode in GT7 compared to GT Sport. Why is that? It looks as though the PP system is going to be king in Gran Turismo 7 Sport Mode. And that means there are going to be many different ways of tuning and customizing your car to hit that maximum PP limit. So for example, we can see the first daily race C is going to be Group 3 at Deep Forest Raceway and tuning is allowed. Tuning is allowed. That is a massive difference to what we've seen in GT Sport. So you're going to have these performance points. If anyone's watching that you play Forza or if you're watching and you really like tuning and customizing, this is going to be right up your street. You're going to have some performance points that you can allocate in different ways. If you want to improve the handling of your car or the top speed of your car or the acceleration or the braking or anything else, you can use those performance points to tailor the car to your preference. And then you're going to go into the sport mode daily race and you're going to race against other people who have also tuned their cars in different ways. So it's no longer going to be, I think, BOP heavy racing. And surely you're going to see a lot of different cars, a lot of different options in terms of way of setting things up. And it's a very, very, very big difference GT Sport. What do I think about it? I think GT Sport had an amazing simplicity. You could basically buy the game very cheaply, seven, eight, nine, ten pounds, get on with the controller, and ultimately there was nothing stopping you from racing right at the top of the game. I can speak for myself. I picked up the game, bought a very cheap steering wheel, I think a T80 to start with, and by the end of GT Sport, I'm racing at the relative top end of the game. Gran Turismo 7 is going to be different. If you don't know how to tune, or you're not able to get tunes from places, I think you're really going to struggle. So for me, I've really got to pick up my tuning. Obviously in our community, we have Kirith Esports. We're going to be providing tunes to the community. But I think tuning, setup, customization are going to be so important. Again, if you somebody who plays Forza, if you play iRacing, if you play ACC in these open setup races, then you're going to be actually ahead of the game, I think, for Gran Turismo 7. Gran Turismo 7, tuning is big looks like the first three races we're going to have in sport mode daily race a high speed ring daily race b trial mountain daily race a deep forest so bringing in the inverted commas new tracks for the first week of sport races so that is pretty 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 big news let me know in the comments what you think about this are you someone that is for open setups you're for tuning or do you prefer bop racing do you prefer for the platform to say hey we're going to make the cars equal and we're going to let you race or do you think that the skill in setting up a car needs to be part of that whole system? Very, very, very different. Oh, we are almost there. I'm going to be streaming live at midnight, Thursday 3rd of March. And we're going to be doing GT7 as it goes live. We're going to be on the daily races, doing some open lobbies as well. So make sure to subscribe if you want to be there for that. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this news. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.